Today we're writing and graphing functions. Yesterday I mentioned the vertical line test, and today we're going to talk a little bit more about that. So the vertical line test determines if the graph of a relation is a function. So let's recall seven, sorry, four graphs of functions that you should be familiar with. In other words, you should be able to look at that graph and know what type of function it represents. So our first graph is a straight line. That straight line is a linear function and can be represented by y is equal to x. The second graph is a parabola, a u-shaped curve. That's a quadratic function represented by y equals x squared. Our third graph is kind of an S-shaped curved, and that's a cubic function, y equals x cubed. And lastly, our V-shaped graph is an absolute value function represented by y equals the absolute value of x. So that gives you a visual reminder of those four functions you talked about last year. So let's graph some equations and let's use the vertical line test to see if they are in fact functions. So our first equation is negative 3x plus 2 equals y. We're going to pick values of x, substitute into the equation, and solve for y. Pick any values. I picked 2 when x is 2, y is negative 4. Negative 3 times 2, x is 2, plus 2 is equal to negative 4. So when x is 2, y is negative 4. I do that with two other points, 0 and 1. When x is 0, y is 2. When x is 1, y is negative 1. Okay, so I graph those points. 2, negative 4, 1, negative 1, and 0, 2. Those points are all connected into it by a straight line. That represents the equation y equals negative 3x plus 2. You can see I drew one vertical line through the graph. It only passes through it once. But if I take my ruler and go all across that graph, I'll never cross that graph more than once. So we would say, yes, it passes the vertical line test. So yes, this is a function. Okay, let's do it again. We have y equals the absolute value of x plus 2. So now you're saying, oh, that looks like that should be an absolute value function. Maybe, hmm, v-shaped graph? Well, let's see what happens. Let's pick some values for x, substitute into the equation, and solve for y. When x is 5, the absolute value of 5 plus 2 is equal to 5 plus 2, or 7. So when x is 5, y is 7. I do the same for 1. When x is 1, y is 3. When x is 0, y is 2. When x is negative 1, y is 3. When x is negative 5, y is 7. Notice that for both 5 and negative 5, y is 7. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, remember, we're taking the absolute value of x. That's the distance the number is from 0, and 5 and negative 5 are the same distance. So there we have it. That's why the output or the range is the same for when x is 5 and x is negative 5. The same is true for 1 and negative 1. So let's graph those points. 5, 7, 1, 3, 0, 2, negative 1, 3, and negative 5, 7. I draw my line through the points making a v-shaped curve. You can see I already drew one vertical line through the graph. It only passes through it once. I can take my ruler and do the same through the whole across the whole graph. And you can see I'll never pass that graph in more than one place at a time. So we'd say yes, that passes the vertical line test. And y is equal to the absolute value of x plus 2 is a function as well. Okay. 